Hello, welcome to another video. This is the second USB-C power adapter video. Introducing a new product from Anchor, the Nano 2 30 watt power adapter. You can see the previous video linked above or down below in the description. As is typical with my videos, I'll do a bit of a deep dive into the power analysis of this device, as well as look at some general impressions. First impression, the box is pretty easy to open comes with some instructions and a happy, not happy, card. It would be great if it said happy on both sides. This device is a 30 watt capable power adapter and I think it's going to get there without any problems. I will be looking at several different factors related to the power adapter performance and specifications. We can see the TUV safety mark on the product showing that it's gone through some safety compliance testing. I purchased on Amazon and there is a link in the description as usual and the adapter is a little more expensive at 30 US dollars but this also has that GAN claim on it and um, I think it's legitimate on this product. On a scale, the Nano 2 30 watt weighs 47 grams and the packaging for the adapter weighs 25 grams. As you can see, when compared to several other power adapters, this is a fairly similar size to many of these devices but offers much more power output than even the larger power adapters. I did a video explaining some power quality metrics. So a lot of the terms I'm using are described in that video. Check it out in the link in the description if you want to dive a little deeper. In general, I'm just going to state what's good and what is bad. Let's plug it in and check out the idle power consumption. I'll give it a minute to settle out here. So first looking at the power factor, which is not great at 0.36. But this is at less than one tenth of a watt, but tiny numbers here is good. The current is at 1.66 milliamps. Now I'm switching the mode over to harmonic analysis. The first number we're looking at is the harmonic distortion on the current consumption. And here's the voltage harmonic distortion, low as expected. Here we can see an ultra low test load connected with a multimeter and a resistor directly across the output. The voltage is as expected, five volts. The device starts to use a little more power now that it has a load connected. So my test setup has improved since the last video and I wanted to get the most accurate reading on these devices so I finally found a USB decoy device that simulates USB power delivery modes and it works with all these power adapters and successfully gets them into the other higher voltage modes so we can get the full power out of these now. The setup shown here has two sets of wires coming off the USB decoy board. This allows the load tester to sense the voltage at the board without any drop through the wires. So these larger wires are carrying the current and they can have voltage drop because there's a separate sense for the voltage wires which aren't carrying any current. There's a link in the description to the load tester I'm using. I've been very happy with this unit so far, but there are a ton of options out there, so do your research. Here's a screen capture of the USB decoy device I ended up going with. This also seems to work great and has enough pads to solder wires onto it reasonably. Here you can see my four wires soldered on from the bottom. Okay, max voltage 20 volt. Let's hit it with a 30 watt load and see what happens. Look at that, it's handling it no problem. Tiny power adapter, 30 watts, no problem. I think we've got a keeper here. The input power is only 33 and a half watts too. Still not great on power factor or THD, but otherwise a strong performer. Overall, we can see the highest performance from this device happens around 75% of its rated load. This is typical of power supplies. Although 100% load on this device is still great. As noted, power factor and THD are still not amazing, but the high efficiency for the real power is making up for some of that. In summary, this adapter is quite good. It gets a recommendation from me, for an all-around universal small power adapter as long as you use USB-C devices. Remember to use a good quality USB-C cable and good luck finding one. Uh, the GoPro ones actually seem quite good. Here's a summary of the USB-C power adapter so far. The race is on for the best. I updated the Apple and Spigen results since these are now able to deliver the full 20 watts with that new decoy. In this summary, the Anchor wins. The overall power is higher since it is a higher power class device, but in general, the power quality is better than the others tested. Thanks for watching. The best way to help creators like me is to share our content with others. 
Join me for another video in the near future, and as always, like and subscribe. Next up are a bunch of wall plate USB plugs. I still need to find that 15 watt adapter. Thanks again, and bye.